I'm Lena Rao with TechCrunch TV, and we're here with Clara Shai, CEO and founder of Hearsay Social. Um, welcome, Clara. Thank you. So, Hearsay Social is a local page management company. Describe to me what, what does that mean? That's a great question. So, if you look at different companies out there, there are certain brands such as franchises and chains, insurance companies, direct selling organizations that are truly global local, where they have a strong corporate brand like Starbucks or State Farm combined with large numbers of local stores or reps. So Hearsay Social is laser focused on enabling these kinds of companies to both monitor and measure the local pages as well as empower each of those pages with content such as deals and links and videos. Yeah, so so explain to me, could you give me a real world example of um, you know, one of your customers and how they're using Hearsay Social to manage um, you know, these many Facebook pages or Twitter pages? Sure, a great example of, of a global local brand is Farmers Insurance. So Farmers Insurance approached us last year uh, when they realized that an increasing number of their independent agents across the country were creating Facebook pages or claiming place, uh, Facebook place pages or creating Twitter accounts. So there's any number of local social media presences that are being established. And Farmers Corporate wanted to enable these because they realized the whole value of being a distributed organization in the first place is having these local nodes. Uh, but without any visibility, uh, they were viewing these social media presences as potential brand and regulatory liabilities. And so using Hearsay Social, they've been able to start to suggest out different content templates for wall posts and tweets and custom tabs and be, really be able to leverage the best digital assets that corporate can provide at the local level and really get that multiplication effect. So one of the interesting things that I think you guys do is, um, you know, with these big companies, there are a lot of regulatory issues, not to mention giving power to these local branch managers or employees. You just never know what they might post on a page that may not really go with the brand. I, Hearsay does some um, interesting things to sort of mitigate this issue. Can you explain a little bit in that management um, how, how a company can sort of control what a local branch is posting. Absolutely. I think that in addition to being able to suggest out content, it's important for brands to establish guidelines and business rules governing what's okay and not okay to say. And so typically how companies work with us is they'll say, they'll go through and say, no profanity or no account numbers and personally identifiable information. Um, by vertical, there's also different rules. Like in financial services, you can't use words like free or guaranteed or market projection. I didn't know that. Yeah, and <laughs> in, in other industries, there, there could be their own set of, of business rules that they can create. So we've, we've essentially opened a platform where each company can define what their own business needs are, and then we can track these and enforce it across all of the local pages. Yeah, so t can you give me um, sort of an example of, of like what, with farmers insurance for example, what, what would be something that they couldn't say versus what they could say on a brand, on the local page? Well, they're not allowed to give away um, promotions. They can't okay. give free things in exchange for buying uh, an insurance policy. It's just against the industry rules. Um, there's other aspects, especially within insurance and life insurance that are highly regulated by the SEC and FINRA. And so they've been able to just import that in, those entire set of requirements and map those onto social media. So I have to, you know, I, I want to talk about a little bit about your background. You uh, are a former Salesforce uh, um, employee. You wrote a book on how to, um, on social media and Facebook. Can you tell me a little bit about your background and then why you started Hearsay Social? Absolutely. So my background is as a technologist. Uh, I started out as an engineer at Microsoft and then moved over to the strategy and product side at Google. And then uh, I spent three years at Salesforce.com running the App Exchange. And while I was there, in 2007, Facebook came out with their platform. And for the first time, third-party developers could create new applications on top of the social graph. And so I attended the launch, and I was so inspired by what I saw that I ended up building an integration between Facebook and CRM, just as a side project, uh, that became the first business application on Facebook. And it was just, it was a life-changing event, and that's what led to the opportunity for me to write the Facebook era. And now, you know, nine language translations later, uh, 25,000 copies sold, 
was able to interview hundreds of different brands and understand what their pain points were and realizing that where we are today with social media for business is exactly where we were 15 years ago with the internet. And that was really uh, the motivation behind starting Hearsay Social. So in the future, right now you, um, you can manage your Facebook page, you can manage your Twitter page, mm -hmm. is that correct? What are the other platforms that you guys are looking to help these local brands um, manage? So Hearsay Social is platform agnostic. Okay. Wherever there is demand by our customers and our customers' customers, we are happy to integrate. So today we work with Facebook pages, places, profiles, LinkedIn accounts, Twitter accounts, Yelp pages. Um, one thing we're looking into very seriously, of course, is Google+. Plus. It'll be interesting to see how that evolves. As a business platform, for sure. Exactly. Um, well, one of the reasons why we're here is that you guys have raised a pretty substantial amount of funding um, from an existing investor, Sequoia, um, and a new investor as well. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. We are delighted today to be announcing an $18 million Series B from NEA and from Sequoia. And as part of that, uh, welcoming John Sakota, who is an, a partner at NEA, to our board. That's great. What do you plan to use the funding for? We plan to use uh, the funding to really accelerate our growth even more and deliver more product innovations to our customers. That's great. And, and you, you had mentioned maybe uh, in our conversations earlier that hiring is going to be something that you guys are really going to ramp up. Um, right now, you have around 40 employees, you said. You're looking to double that in the next year. What's the challenge in hiring good engineers in this area? I think the challenge with good engineers, with good salespeople is that you know there's a lot of, of okay people, but we have the absolute highest standards at Hearsay Social, and recruiting has always been my top priority. And so I think the challenge has been finding those people and making sure that you know they feel bought in on the vision and feel like this is their, uh, their passion as well. Great, well congrats on the funding and um, please keep us updated on how you guys are doing. Will do. Thank you. Thanks.